Antonia Bembo was born in Italy around 1640. Relatively little is known of her early life in Italy, other than that she studied under the same teacher as did Barbara Strozzi. Bimbo's husband was a total lowlife who embezzled money and cheated on her, but her attempts to divorce him failed. He ended up spending the last 13 years of his life in prison. But before this, Bimbo escaped, leaving behind not just her husband, but also her three children, getting to Paris sometime before 1676 and singing for King Louis XIV, who was a great patron of the arts. She got a salary from the king as well as a roof over her head. At the court, Bimbo met Elizabeth Claude Jacquet de la Guerre, who, like her, had pioneered the fusion of Italian and French styles. But it's there that the similarities between the two composers must end, because Bimbo led an essentially monastic life, while Jacquet de la Guerre was an active part of the musical culture of the court, although they both did write a single opera each. In Italy, Bimbo was a headstrong character who not only ran into trouble with her husband, but also with her father, because she was such a smart aleck that he threatened to disinherit her on multiple occasions. When she got to Paris, she started anew, keeping a meek and low profile. In Paris, she tried her hardest to please authority and not to attract attention. Many of the other details of her life are either unconfirmed or remain in the realm of conjecture. From what we understand, we know she led a pretty interesting life. More so than Delaguerre, Bimbo's music brings in the best of both French and Italian styles, although she was equally comfortable writing in an exclusively Italian or an exclusively French one. Thus, like her compatriot in the court, she fused the best of both musical worlds. Mm -hmm.